The RGM UGM 109B Tomahawk, known as the Tomahawk Anti Ship Missile TASM, stands as a legendary chapter in the evolution of modern naval warfare. Developed during the Cold War era, the TASM variant of the Tomahawk cruise missile was specifically designed to provide the United States Navy with a long range, precise, and lethal weapon against enemy surface ships. Though retired from active service in the 1990s, the TASM remains one of the most respected and iconic missiles in naval history, largely due to its unmatched range, advanced guidance systems of its time, and strategic versatility in sea-based deterrence operations. Derived from the larger Tomahawk missile family, the RGM UGM 109B was initially fielded in the early 1980s. Its defining feature was its capability to be launched from both surface ships and submarines, thanks to its dual platform compatibility. The RGM designation referred to ship launch models, while UGM referred to submarine launched variants. This flexibility allowed U.S. naval forces to maintain an effective anti ship deterrent across a wide geographic area, even in the most hostile or contested waters. The TASM was subsonic, flying at approximately 550 miles per hour Mach 0.75, and capable of striking targets up to 280 nautical miles approximately 518 kilometers away. This long reach enabled ships and submarines to remain safely outside the range of enemy defenses while engaging high-value targets. It used a turbojet engine for sustained cruise flight and was equipped with fold-out wings and tail surfaces to enhance in-flight stability and control. The missile flew at low altitudes using terrain contour matching TERCOM, and inertial guidance systems. For terminal guidance, it employed an active radar seeker that allowed it to lock onto and destroy moving enemy ships with great accuracy. One of the most remarkable features of the TASM was its guidance system, especially considering the technological limits of the era. The missile's use of TERCOM allowed it to fly a pre-programmed course by comparing onboard maps with the actual terrain it was flying over. Although this method was originally developed for land attack variants, its adaptation for maritime use in the TASM reflected the cutting-edge nature of U.S. missile engineering. Upon reaching the general vicinity of the target area, the missile would activate its radar seeker to locate and home in on enemy ships, enabling it to engage targets that had moved since launch. The missile carried a high explosive warhead capable of inflicting serious damage to large surface combatants. It was designed to penetrate the upper decks of enemy warships and detonate within, causing maximum internal destruction. The combination of precision targeting, significant warhead power, and long range made the TASM a feared threat to any adversary's surface fleet. While the TASM was ahead of its time, the shifting nature of naval warfare and advancements in both friend and foe technologies eventually rendered the missile obsolete. By the early 1990s, the U.S. Navy began to phase out the TASM in favor of newer systems, such as the Harpoon missile and more advanced variants of the Tomahawk focused on land attack missions. The main reason for retirement was the missile's reliance on pre-programmed routes and relatively limited real-time targeting capabilities. In an age where dynamic battlefield information and networked sensors became critical, the TASM's lack of mid-course updates or in-flight retargeting proved to be a strategic limitation. Despite its retirement, the RGM UGM 109B TASM left a lasting legacy. It marked a significant step forward in the use of long range, sea launch precision guided munitions and helped pave the way for future naval missile development. The broader Tomahawk missile family continues to serve as a backbone of the U.S. Navy's strike capabilities, with modern versions incorporating GPS guidance, real time targeting, and the ability to engage both land and maritime targets with increased precision. The TASM's role during its operational lifespan highlighted the importance of survivable, long-range weaponry in maritime dominance. It served as both a deterrent and a symbol of American technological superiority during the Cold War. Even today, defense analysts and naval historians regard the TASM as a crucial evolutionary link in missile development, one that helped define a new era in naval warfare strategy. Its retirement did not mark the end of its impact, it remains a benchmark by which future anti-ship missile capabilities are measured.